Hey guys, it's Pierre Meunier. Welcome back in S3K Review. So we are at the field now, so what I will show to you today is uh, how to set your snap flap, how to set your differential and how to set your camber. Let's go! So guys, one last thing before start the video. So um, I really really want to say a really enormous thank you to uh, all make a donation today, we are around $200 left to be able to buy this new camera so already a really big really 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 big hug to all uh, make a donation to the channel and um, I I am really stoked about it and uh, what I wish is uh, to be able to buy this camera because you to all these people already donate uh, it really deserves to see uh, the new camera so uh, I hope some people will do a donation really soon because uh, I will um, start the trip to the world championship in a bit more of three weeks so I really really hope uh, you will help me to achieve that really really a lot so remember $200 left so it's uh, with all my subscribers it's uh, an half dollar by subscriber <laughs> so thank you a lot and I really hope to make great videos for you at the world championship now let's go back to the video so guys we are at the field now with the vibe 2 top drive so uh, I will <laughs> sorry I will show you how to set your camber how to set your differential and how to set your snap flap so first your camber in speed mode uh, the most simple to set it uh, before the flight is to take um, things straight um, like uh, oh I don't, every time I don't remember the name but um, the plate in metal or in plastic for measurement uh, so sorry I don't remember the word but a straight thing or a piece of wood or metal really straight and put it on the bottom of the wing and uh, make the bottom of the wing really flat, really straight and this is make uh, on the most of uh, airfoil the best um, uh, low drag uh, mode sorry <laughs> I don't find my words today so, this is for speed mode, on the Vibe 2 it's around 2.5 to 3 mm. So now, uh, neutral mode is always at neutral, so 0 mm. And me, I'm using the sliders for, make for the camber, no the gas stick. I will show you which, what is the difference between cruise and slow cruise. So, I launch. So here I am in cruise mode, so it's not that slow but not that fast and now 2 mm flaps and it immediately calmed down. See a bit on the tail but not that much and it continued to cruise just fine. Up. So one more time but face to us, one time in cruise mode, one time in slow cruise. So, okay. So, I take a bit of speed. Now face to us, cruise mode. Okay, this is the cruise mode attitude. And this is the slow cruise mode attitude. 
Okay, now it will be slow cruise mode. They are all there. <laughs> Ooh. Slow cruise mode. So it's a bit more on the tail. And uh, the sink rate is really lower. Okay, you see it's playing slower and a bit more on the tail. So, now I will show you uh, why you need a um, bigger amount of flap. It's for climb better in thermal, so the thermal is there, I will try to catch it. Wow, do you see the bird above, above us? Just there. So I will try to catch the thermal. Okay, good thermal there. But really, really thin. So I think if I look at the bird, the thermal is more there. And the wind confirm what I feel. So yes, exactly there. So now I am full flap and you will see uh, how it uh, play with the differential. So if I am full flap like this, you can see how the thermal is closer to us, so I will come back and you will see how much it play with uh, the differential. So we'll try to catch a really small bubble. <laughs> ah, I'm too low, but I will try. <laughs> so, there is the thermal. So, I'm full flap, and you see how much uh, the internal wing can push on the air and not falling. I will try to catch it again. Woo, little quick there. It's really difficult to stay in the thermal. And I'm flying really low for you see really well the glider. I'm in again. Or not. I think the thermal is on me, it's why I don't found it there. Yes, it's on me, definitely. So I think you see uh, how the combo play on um, the differential. So my differential is a um, reverse differential. So uh, in slick, this is my differential. So you can see it's not that much reverse. But if I put two millimeters of combo, it will be really much reverse and full combo really 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 a lot reverse okay and now if i add my snap flap okay it's like this so i'm full elevator so it's like never <laughs> i never use full elevator so uh, this is how i fly so um this uh, now i will show you how to set your snap flap Okay, so reverse a lot and not that much of normal. Why a lot of reverse? Because you never use more than this of elevator uh, and only for the up of your climb at launch, you use a bit more. So I need like this, something like this and it help a bit. So with um, my spin mode, it make it like this. Okay, you can really, really do one big pushover without lost any speed. So now I will uh, show you some turns with uh, the snap flap. So look how it can push on the air. You see, the wing really push on the air and the nose never fall down. 
One more time. So I am in cruise mode, no flaps. So only snap flap. The wing is only pushing on the air and it's a ton easier. So here no runs input when I'm turning. So it runs and only elevator. Okay. When you are in thermal, it's climbing really, really well. So now I'm trying to catch the thermal. So mid flaps for fill it. And full flaps when I'm in. I lost it. it the thermals are moving really, really fast. It's crazy. So, this is how I fly with my differential, snap flap, and camber. So, this, is, this could be uh, something to help you for set your DLG. On 6.4, I use a bit less of uh, snap flap and camber, so it uh, makes uh, less amount of uh, reverse differential uh, when I'm full everything. So think about it, it's not like this on every glider, it's like I use it on this Vibe 2. Okay, so now let's go back to the GoPro. I take off my hat, my cap, so <laughs> I think uh, my hair are very messy, but never mind. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, if it helped you, uh, I really hope it did. So if you have any question about anything, feel free to ask me in the comment down below. Um, I need to uh, make a precision about something is uh, my settings are really personal. So what I want to show you really a lot is the um, how the glider fly, not uh, my settings. Because what you need to look for is uh, the same uh, flying characteristic the lift uh, creates under the internal wing uh, in turns this is uh, what you should look for um, when you set your glider not uh, to make a big reverse differential but reverse differential help to get the, this flying characteristic so uh, the snap flap uh, it depends really a lot of your glider. Some gliders need only two millimeters of snap flap. Some others need eight. So and it depends really a lot of your CG for the differential, for the um, snap flap, and for the combo. So uh, look for the same type of flight, type of turn and uh, then you will have your perfect setting. This is why I really want to say uh, don't try to set your glider uh, as I set mine but try to set it for get the same flight. Okay? <laughs> so thank you again for watching this video. Thank you again to all the donators, all the subscribers and really I a lot appreciate it. Thank you again for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye.